Back at home. Post workout meal. Let's see what we got. Do, 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 do. I got a little bit of spinach over here. It's like, I think an ounce, one ounce of spinach. That's raw. I didn't cook. I'm gonna eat like that. We got about here. Yeah, actually, let me let me uh, walk over here real quick and grab this notes. Okay, so we got spinach over here, about one ounce. And this, that's chicken breast. That is six and a half ounces. Broccoli is a six and a half ounces. That's steamed broccoli, by the way. Uh, white rice, because I ran out of uh, uh, the assortment of brown, wild, and red rice. So the white rice is 9.2 ounces. And two eggs I believe each egg is maybe seven grams of protein actually let me just check that real quick it's right here focus there we go seven grams of protein one egg so here we go I'm finna, I'm finna eat right now, so, I'll see you tomorrow, I guess tomorrow, tomorrow's gonna be, um, tomorrow's gonna be back day, that's back, biceps, back and bice, and lower back, alright, see you tomorrow, alright, alright, Saturday night, Saturday night, I'm finna hit the gym, again, yet again, Saturday night, probably, I mean, Sunday morning, basically, uh, doing, doing backs, backs today, back, back, biceps, lower back, lats, traps, all back today, so, oh, check it out, man. I mean, I bought this like what two days ago, and I'm just getting to open it. Crock pot. Let's do a review. Crock pot. One of the reasons why I bought a crock pot is uh, I was watching Campbell Fitness. If you don't know who he is, check him out. Seems like a pretty cool guy, you know. Knows his shit in terms of. You know, exercise, bodybuilding, weightlifting, whatever. But check it out, man. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, he had a uh, tutorial of about like a chicken, chicken recipe using crock pot. And he said it the best, man. He was like, dude, you could just leave it in all day. Or, or, or like they just say, if you work all day, right? In the morning, just get this ready. Put it, set it for eight hours or whatever. You know, set it for eight hours. I mean, this one I like because, you know, it has a timer. It has a timer. You can set set it and forget it, basically. Set and forget it. And then you fucking leave, you know? Leave and do your thing, whatever you do. And come back, you know, around four or five already. You got a hot dinner, man. You know, ready to go, you know? Just throw some rice. Oh, and also, rice cooker, man. Invest in it. There's nothing, in, well, it's just water right now. But yeah, rice cooker. It's one of the best, best inventions, dude. Just, you know, just, just like the slow cooker. Right? The rice cooker. Just, uh, make it in the morning. You know, set it and forget it. And when it's done, it'll, it'll just keep it warm for you. Come back at night, you got a warm meal, man. You know? And then you got your protein, and then you got your carbs right there. And then throw in some fresh, you know, salad, you know, vegetables, like, you know, just steam your broccoli, like, for, like, five minutes, man. Or, for, actually, for me, I, I, I steam it for about three and a half minutes. And then I have some uh, raw spinach, raw baby spinach, man. There you go, man. It's meal. You got your macros, 
you know, you, you got your micros and all that. And everything in between. You know. Like this one I cook white, white rice. And I have this one, a smaller one to cook uh, uh, brown rice. Brown rice. Well, well the assortment that, that I have is brown rice mixed with... Uh, I was going to say brown rice mixed with wild rice and red rice and all that stuff. So, there we go. Oh, let's open up this bad boy. Okay, so I kind of got it open already, but I haven't taken it out yet, you know. I was going to say, oh shit, dude, I got to make a video of this. So, this one is six quarts. I guess it feeds seven people. Uh, it's pretty nice, it looks pretty nice, well from the picture, stainless steel, okay, has a timer, programmable, digital control, crock pot, it's from crock pot, crock pot, oh, you know what, I just uh, noticed that crock pot is a, is a company, it's not, it's, well, I guess nowadays, you know, people use it as 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 a as a term you know oh let's go crock potting or whatever no way do people say that oh. <coughs> excuse me okay so let's take a look at the front over here it's just a countdown this is, this is what it looks like from the front okay programmable removable stoneware shifts to warm setting automatically dishwasher safe stoneware lid recipes included six quarts and feed seven people or seven plus people that is look at the side over here okay it just tells you you know all the stuff you can make I guess check them out on Facebook I guess fucking Facebook is everywhere okay let's check it out let's look at the back it's the back area it says removable stoneware dishwasher safe Stoneware end lid, polished stainless steel, countdown, countdown timer, 30 minutes to 20 hour setting, Ooh. shifts to warm automatically, so you ain't got to worry about anything, you know, so let's open up this bad boy up, man. okay, let's see, okay, man, Need a tripod, but oh, let's take this out. Oh man, you know what? Put this right here. It's right here. Okay. All right, let's open it like this. This is a pretty big one actually. Yeah. This is actually what I wanted, you know. It's not too big, not too small. So there you go, I got it out from that box right there. Okay, so we got the lid over here, be careful of the lid. It's pretty nice. So let's put this on the side because I don't want to smash this up. Let's put it over here. Alright. This is my little string. I wonder why it's bouncing all over the place. So let's go and take a pick. Let's take this off. There we go. Let's throw this back in here. Okay. Let's take this off. From the side. And here we go. We got a owner's guy. Let's check this out. Yeah, it just tells you, you know, what to do and all that stuff, like how to operate it. Okay, got on this guy. Got a crock pot itself. Here, I'll show you how big it is. Let's see. <coughs> Check it out, this is my hand. This is my hand, and that's how big it is. Actually, you know what? It's not even that big because it's in a, in my hand like this. 
so it's not that big and it's about let me see yeah so I mean I guess compared to this I can you know sit in here anyways let's get on moving so let me just take this out of the plastic so you can see it in all its glory man I could put a whole chicken in here dude or maybe a small ass turkey too but this is good though This is real good. Wait a minute, is this a flaw? Mm, no, I think I'll be alright. I think I'll be alright. I think I'll be alright. So we got this. Let's take this out. Got the plastic of the car. Okay, so here we go. Ah, oh, man, look at that. Shiny and... Oh, wait. Is this thing of steel? Okay, as I was saying before, I got shut off automatically. Yeah, there we go. Look at how shiny it is, man. Digital clock, man. I can't wait to use this. I bought some uh, chicken legs or chicken thighs. I'm sorry, chicken thighs for this crock pot. Only bought like four or five. There you go. This is inside. This is outside. So I guess we just set it in here and then set it up, man. And that's it. So let's let's put this back in here. And that's it, man. Crock pot, dude. You put like two chickens in here, dude. Two or two small hens, you know. There we go. But you, you know, you don't want to be eating too. This is, this is good for like, you know, just putting putting some chicken breast or chicken thighs or chicken legs or, or a whole chicken in there. You know, just going out. Just set, just set it and forget it, basically, right? And then go and do your thing. And then when you're done, come back go around four or five in the evening. You got a hot protein ready, hot protein source ready, instead of this all the time, you know? Because this kind of sucks. After a while, you know. And then of course, you know, you got the rice cooker over here, so you got. Your carbs, check. Protein, check. And then, you know, just throwing some vegetables and all that stuff. And there you go, man. Anyways, let's 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 actually make some stuff with this. Okay, stop. All right, welcome, cooking with Mikey. Man, I just hope there's no other Mikeys out there because I don't want to be copying them you know because I know for a fact that there are many other Mikeys out there than me and I know I'm not the only one that's you know gotta you know that knows how to cook and will you know do a cooking tutorial or whatever anyways forget that let's talk about this so I put this over here next to the microwave next to the uh, sink and all that away from any thing that's flammable paper I'm gonna move these towels in a minute but so it's a, it's on its own you know on a, on a on a hard surface and let's make some chicken so this these these are the ingredients 
I'm gonna use I'm try barbecue. Craft honey barbecue. It's on sale, it's like a buck or something like that. A buck something. But yeah, hey, you know, let's give it a try. You could be wrong, but anyways, let's give it a try. Let's go to the fridge real quick and grab these bad boys over here. I, I, I got these at um, Walmart. They say it looks good. It says fresh drumsticks. No antibiotics ever. Fed all vegetarian diet. No animal byproducts. Humanly raised. Raised. Caged free. Damn. What a good life. And then off to the slaughtering house you go. So, drumsticks. This is a uh, fairly all natural harvest land. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six chicken drumsticks in here. So, I'm going to put this in here and throw in some barbecue sauce uh, and throw in some pepper and. Uh, I guess that's it. So, well, actually, I, I like a little bit spicy, so obviously. The Sriracha. I got to a little bit of this, dude, obviously. So, we'll see you in a little bit. Alright, alright, back in the kitchen. So, over here, I'm just washing. Washing them. Washing. You know. Just washing it out. So I'll shake a little bit like this. Shake a little bit and then throw it in here. Place it in here. Oh, actually, let me fucking clean this off real quick, man. Sweat this off, you know. Just wipe it off, man, you know. You never know. Actually, fuck. You know what would be nice? A floating camera. That's going to be the next big invention. I'll tell you what, man. A floating camera that can just float. You know, like a floating vlogging camera. And then you can also just think and say, okay, go face that way. Face forward. And it'll be like, boom, there you go. Like, face me. Hey, hey. Okay. So let me see. What the hell? Is it recording? Okay, this turns off in like a second or two. So let's just wipe this off inside. Make sure there's no contamination or stuff that I don't want in here. It's pretty good, I think. Okay, so let me just roll up my sleeve. So let's just like, shake this, shake this. Take all the water and then place it in here like that. Shake, shake, shake. Place it in here like that. Okay, there we go. Shake it, shake the shit out of it. There we go. Place it in here. So you see how I'm placing it? Big, you know, so it's like, you know, grooves. Kind of like a puzzle, you know, matches up. Shake the shit out of it. Mm. Okay, there we go. We're almost done. Shake the shit out of it and place it over here. There we go, man. There we go. Six chicken thighs. Chicken legs. Chicken legs. Chicken drumsticks. I'm sorry. Chicken drumsticks. Now let me wash my hands with this antibacterial focus damn it let me wash my hands with this antibacterial dishwashing soap it's like a Chinese product as long as it works right alright we're back so I just went ahead and put a little bit of pepper on it first let's put some pepper on it 
Now I'm gonna add a little bit of sriracha, you know. There's no measurements here, you know, just, you know, put however much you like. Put a little bit of sriracha, there we go. There we go, I like a whole lot of spice. Spicy, spicy food. There we go, a little sriracha, I mean, sriracha. Did I say sriracha? Sriracha? And then we're gonna put some crab, honey barbecue sauce. Let's check out the macros. Two tablespoons, 60 grams, sugar. But yeah, I mean, it's not like you gotta worry too much about it because you're not gonna drink all this after it's done, you know, from the hot pot or from the, the slow cooker itself. Let me just open this mother. So I'm just gonna dump, I don't know. Well, this is thick. Maybe I need more meat. Shit. But see, I'm the only one that's gonna be eating this, so I don't wanna like make too much of that. You know, the rest are gonna go bad or whatever. But anyways, yeah, let's dump all this motherfucker in. See the uh, one thing about thick sauces. Hey, you know there was like some kind of invention, I think what Caltech or MIT? Or something like that. Like a few months ago, I remember it was it was last year for sure. 012, 2012. And I think they there was a ketchup bottle. They they put some kind of coating inside where when they pour it, it just slides and it doesn't stick to anything, you know. Like for example, if that chemical or that product was inside here in this bottle, and I was to dump it like this, and everything would be gone inside, you won't see no like, like or like, you know, any other, you know, sauce in here. It'll just be like a clean bottle. That's crazy, right? You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Shit, man. Whoever invented that, sell it. Shh. There you go, man. I want to be a billionaire. There you go. And I put a whole bunch of sauce. You know what? I think I just emptied out the fucking bottle. I, I, you know what? I think it's also too thick. Maybe not, though. I don't know. Depends. Oh, shit. I don't want to fucking crack it. Let me taste it. Mmm. It's good, man. This is good. It's good stuff. good stuff you know what I'm gonna put a little bit of rice wine in there rice wine cooking wine cooking wine it's a Chinese cooking wine it it's just in here so I'm just gonna grab some open this motherfucker I'm gonna pour some in here so put a little bit maybe like you know just a little bit you know not too much because you don't want to get all fucked up you know or maybe you do. I just shake it and just cover this back up. Shake it to get all the barbecue sauce out. Let me just open this bit. <coughs> so check it out. It's about a quarter. No. Yeah, about ten. Or 12 minutes until 6 12 till 6 so this will be done when 3 o'clock maybe in the morning 6 hours from now so let's pour this bad boy let's pour the rest of this stuff in there we go All right. it still smells good barbecue bar you know what barbecue sauce is underrated actually I've been underrating it for a long time because I don't know I guess I never find it really good until just right now dude I just had a little taste I'm like this is pretty good all right so we're done with that 
recycle guys these right here you know that giant blue container that the uh, city provides for you you know not the trash one but the, it says recycle the light blue one well just throw these in there man instead of throwing it in the trash you know in the trash well this will go in here and then this will go in the trash but yeah man just recycle dude you know it's your, it's, this is your earth you should you know clean it up man maybe some of you have kids or maybe not but shit just do your part anyways I'm gonna set this bad boy right now hold up man I just plugged it in dude it's going crazy right now shit I think it's time to actually look at the uh, owner's manual hold up all right all right so here we are again I finally figured it out it's actually easy so all you gotta do man just plug it in and these three lights high keep warm and low they, they just flash and what you gotta do is just press select you want it low or you want it high so just press select right and it'll stop flashing so if you have a low right and these timer right here this goes of increments of 30 minutes so if you so when you plug it in it's gonna flash right and then you select the uh, temperature you want it or how you want to cook it high or low and then there's no number over here but you gotta just move this up and down see it goes increments of 30 minutes but I want it about seven and a half and once it uh, reaches your counts down to zero it reaches zero then I believe from what I understand it'll automatically switch to keep warm and that's it for that and I can't wait for you to be in my belly. Be in my belly. Mm-mm. Barbecue sauce. Okay. Let's go put the lid back on. So I'm going to put the lid over here. There we go. Got the lid on. And. Man, the side gets hot. See, I can feel it. It's warm. But yeah, man, uh, yo, I can't wait to cook some baby baby back ribs in there, as well as as well as Korean short ribs. Cause I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Let me put this away. Well, obviously, after I uh, open new products up like this, I never throw this out. At least not yet. You know what I'm saying? Because if some shit goes wrong or whatever, and I don't have my boxes with me, what the fuck am I gonna do, you know? Anyway, so let's set it right here for seven and a half hours on low. And it's five till six p.m. in the evening. And I guess I'll be done around 2 30, maybe. Or one thirty. Yeah. So we'll see. Wait, is it five? Yeah, it's six. All right, let's check on the uh, slow cooker. Turn on this light. Okay. So let me see. It says I got about. Says I've got about three forty six, three hours and forty six minutes left. Now let's take a look. Ooh, look at the steam. Let's put this aside over here. It's cooking just good. I don't want to drop this camera in. Oh man. Oh, it smells wonderful. Smells wonderful. It smells wonderful. Mmm. Chicken. Barbecue chicken with sriracha. It's looking wonderful. Mmm. Man, I think someday, someday, 
They're gonna have to smell a vision, man. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, just wonderful. Mm -mm. So, uh, after tonight's workout, or basically this morning's workout, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab actually uh, let me cook some rice. Cook some rice. Let me cook some brown rice. No, actually I have a little bit more brown rice left. I'm gonna cook some white rice. Right there. there. I'm gonna cook some white rice, and we'll see. All right, see you in a little bit. All right, all right, here we go, man. It's my, it's about uh, 12, 17, 18. Uh, let's take a look at this. There we go. It's almost done. I mean, it's pretty much done already. Let's turn on the light. There we go. It's pretty much done already. I mean, the longer you cook it, I guess the softer the meat is. But yeah. I'm about to hit the gym in about an hour or so. Uh, get my pre-workout in, basically. This is the rice. Rice cooker is ready. I can just keep this warm. And I'll play it for you guys in a second. Alright, alright. We're back. There we go. Two chicken legs. Out of the slow cooker. Rice. Uh, five small salad tomatoes raw. Uh, broccoli raw. That's a little bit of uh, barbecue sauce from the slow cooker and raw spinach. So what we got here is white rice, nine ounces. Cherry tomatoes, one point six ounces. Spinach, one ounce. Broccoli, two point two ounce. Chicken leg, five point six ounces. I'm gonna eat right now.